Hello, and welcome to today's coffee break. My name is Mark Pacer. I'm the Associate Director of Music here at Bethlehem Lutheran Church Twin Cities, and I'm delighted to welcome you into the organ loft today to hear some wonderful organ music. On our last coffee break episode, we heard the finale from Symphony No. 2 in D Major by Vidor. That piece of music was a great example of the youthful style of composition that can be found in Vidor's early organ symphonies, specifically symphonies one through four. For today's episode, we are going to continue this focus on Vidor. But now, we are going to explore a Vidor that is more compositionally mature. To demonstrate the contrast between youthful Vidor and a more mature Vidor from a compositional perspective, we are going to look at the finale from Symphony No. 8 in B major. When you hear this piece of music, you will be able to draw a very clear contrast in styles between Symphony No. 2 and Symphony No. 8. In this finale from Symphony No. 8, there is just a bit more compositional complexity in the movement overall when compared to what we heard in the finale from Symphony No. 2. In the opening measures of the movement, we are introduced to the main theme, which is somewhat march-like in character. Vidor utilizes this theme throughout the movement, but does so in a way that varies the presentation of it each time it is heard. And sometimes, he uses only a small portion of the melody and the rhythmic idea that is contained within it to bring this sense of unity to the entire movement. So we have unity through thematic ideas, but yet variety through the different presentations of that theme. And of course, we have a tremendous amount of musical intensity uh, that would be expected uh, in a Vidor finale. This movement is truly a musical feast for the ears. So I hope you enjoy this wonderful example of a more compositionally mature Vidor. This is the finale from Symphony No. 8 in B major.